Okay, we have a uh, Buzzy Kingdom with uh, Summon. Everyone knows what it does. Because, uh, and Lost Arts gives the action token. Right. I get some uh, strange noises. Okay. Yeah, the big problem here is lack of draw. Um, in fact, the only way you can increase your hand size is by summoning Highway or Border Village. Yeah, seems uh, And there's also no immediate buy. Yeah. And there's gaining via Remake, uh, and Lurker. Yeah. You can sacrifice things and Lurker them back. Uh, but that doesn't net you cards. <laughs> that doesn't net you cards, it just nets you actions, which you don't need here particularly. That that really sounds terrible. Um Yeah. I do think you wanna I think you might as well go for the highways some. Um Yeah, I think so. But there's a real limit to how big your turn can can get. You can remake into provinces, I guess, if you let, if one person gets gets seven of the highways. Yeah, the people are asking for the Discord, but I think. Burning School just wants a link. So, what is it? Is it just a discussion channel? He he just he doesn't want it for this match. I don't think particularly. He just wanted to. Uh, okay. Get a link to it. I'm not sure. Well, it's nice that I could choose uh, summoning the remake, so I can play it right away. Mm -hmm. Get those juicy shelters out and uh, get some nice lurkers. Yeah. I am yeah, getting I some that. strange uh, background sounds. I think those have to do with Discord, so. I guess I will just mute them. Yeah, you could probably leave that voice channel in there. I don't know why that wasn't working. So, yeah, I, I will try uh, try out the desktop app uh, next time. Yep. It keeps bugging me about a desktop app. I mean, I have the website. Why would I want to download some uh, some stuff? Yeah, the only reason I use it is because I found the uh, voice chat is sometimes buggy on the browser. Yeah, that seems like a great reason. It's just the first time I run into it. Mm-hmm. So we're at this for going for the lurker and I could she has two lurkers. Yep. So it is like going to be a whole bunch of border villages. Lurkering yeah. those and then getting them But having no real draw, it's just Yeah, you just <laughs> kind of try and get your And yeah, once you start get... greening your deck is going to be completely terrible really soon Yeah, so there's it's just you try and get I guess as many of the highways as you can a few monuments and maybe some some gold, and then just pie provinces. 
but I don't think there's a lot. I mean, I guess if you're really winning the highway split, if you get seven of them, you can try to do remakes for provinces, but that probably isn't going to happen. I changed the uh, screen size a bit, going from full screen to uh, showing the browser bar, because I think this just looks better. With, uh, All right. Events next to the kingdom cards in the play area yeah. being a bit larger. Uh, Lime Time says, I don't know if you want lurkers here, but you're obviously going to get them off your remakes. Yeah, like you're not gonna in, indeed. Uh, yeah, I don't think you want to pile them exactly, but I mean, they're better than shelters, so. Yeah. Okay, so Steph wants. Steph wants completely trashed out deck just a golden deck with monuments and lost arts uh, which is going to be for a turn um, well that sounds quite good it's okay and I guess it can be five a turn until the monuments are gone as you summon them actually yeah it'll be four or five I guess once you have a lot of monuments um, and assuming, and you can't end the game because there are these border village in the highway, so there there's a pile out. It's not like a stalemate if one person has a lot more points. It makes okay. sense. So yeah, there's probably not a. It's probably not anything better than that. Just trying to get down to five four or five monuments a turn. So we'll see if either of them go for that. Which will be surely winning. A winning play if the other one doesn't. They're probably both going for it. What do you think about Robert's uh, Lurker by turn six? Well, is that his? He already has a couple. I'm not sure. What did he? It was he had exactly two. It's uh, I okay, think it's a, it's his third. No, maybe. Yeah, it's his third one. That's got one. Yeah, two, it was his third. I win. Three, second, four, I four, fourth. In the spectator, yeah. Lime well, time answered this question, I think, pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like spinning wheels. Yeah. I feel I'm Steph wants I'm zero lurkers, but again, surely you'll pick some up if you remake. Although. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't buy them. Like, no. they just delay getting the deck into the only monuments uh, state because you have to get rid of your lurkers as well. Right. And you, it, it will be a bit easier with sacrifice, but so far they, neither of them have it. And with remake, you're just remaking them into freeze, and then you have to spend another remake play to get them into monuments. So that's just terribly slow. Yeah. No, I think accepting the ones you get off your remakes, there's no point. It does not look like either of them are going for that deck, though, just based off their buys. You would never buy gold if you're going to do the Lost Arts thing. So I don't think they're... I guess Rabbit still could, but... Yeah, Steph is, I think, spot on 
on the fact that they're not trashing fast enough. Um, yeah, you would need to sacrifice to get rid of the lurkers, and then you can play your remake more often. Yeah. Like summoning sacrifice, uh, well you can't do that here, but in general it's not a bad play. Yeah, you'll surely have a target for it. JSH asks in the Twitch chat about Lurker Pillage. Uh, it's, I mean, I wouldn't bother with it here, but <laughs> but it I think, can uh... be a thing to do. I mean, if you're in one of those situations where you have the the deck draw, drawing, you know, you can pick up a Lurker and, or pick up a Pillage and play it every turn. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think you fool with it here. People are complaining a bit about freezing. Maybe I should look into lowering bit rates. Yeah. I haven't been watching the stream too closely, just watching them in spectator mode, but the it's it has looked okay to me. For the most part, uh, I will lower it from 600 to 400 KBS. So they're both going for a bit of a random mixture of cards that seem okay on their own. Yeah, I think it's just a little unfocused. But uh, you have to expect that with the lurkers around, there'll be a pretty easy three pile here soon. As long as the border villages keep going down. Yeah, monuments are almost out, lurkers are almost out. Only four border villages. I suppose Aku's gonna buy a province here. Yeah, now he's so far ahead, he was already ahead in uh, monument points. Yeah, Rabbit's so not Rabbit going to manage a province by, I don't think so. Yeah, I think Rabbit should stop trashing any of the Lurker, Monument and Border Villages, and I agree with the Sacrifice. I think now we should just summon another Sacrifice. Yeah. He should definitely be summoning when he has the chance to. Yeah, Steph says it would be good for him to stop lowering the piles. Yeah, that's indeed. I don't know if it's going to really do enough to stop it, but... Like, what do you know about, uh, about Robert's opponent, uh, Akuchi? I don't think I remember playing him a lot from when I used to play a lot he's been in he's been in a for several seasons now I don't know when he first promoted or how how many seasons but he's been uh, in a quite a bit he was in a championship match a few seasons ago maybe one or two okay uh, so he's quite good um, He, he crushed me. He's the reason I'm demoting. Well, he's pretty much the reason why I'm demoting this season. You're demoting? Wow. Yeah. What, what happened? Well, the, the, uh, 
Well, the spread in, in A this season, the highest score was 16. They both had 16, and DG had 14. He was the sixth place. So we we were all basically average. Oh. Uh, but I lost to Aku 5-1, so that was that was uh, my big loss this season, along with uh, mostly ties. But too bad. So we won't see you uh, in the championship match next season. No, it will be at least two. It's been a while since I've won. Actually, the last couple of times I even made it to the championship match, I lost. So it's been like six or seven seasons. Wow, you lost your mojo, man. I have, I have. I blame the the new client. That's got to be it. Yeah, right? for it's sure. Web, we built some uh, so, some anti mic measures in. Uh, yeah, you, there's you definitely. There are almost uh, some sh shady business going on. They're almost at a powerhouse. Uh, Akuchi. Yeah. Doesn't have the money, but he j he, ha he has it uh, next turn unless Rabbit pulls off something amazing. L like can he twelve or if he gets a province and just uh, two more monument points, fourteen? No, I don't see it happening. No, it looks. I I he can do lurker. Get some border village somehow if he gets another lurker to gain duchy, then play two monuments and get a province. I think that's winning. I don't think I don't think that's S possible. <laughs> Why not? If he's sick oh he can't get to eight. That's yeah going to be a problem. Like if he sacrificed border village, then he needs to draw like a gold, which I don't think he has even. He, he has two spells it still left. It still wouldn't be enough. Yeah. He he need two lurker plays. Yeah, he would uh, need to. He would need to indeed. So like he can get two dollars away from it, but that she. I mean, he can. He can uh, get fifteen, but he can, like. Yeah, he can get to fifteen here, but. Yeah. We already know Aku has the border village by. Yeah, it's over. And Steph is making fun of you in uh, in chat. I uh, I visited him, in, him today to uh, uh, help out a bit with some client side nocturne things, and uh, mm -hmm. he asked me specifically to uh, to repeatedly harass you about your uh, your season uh, in A and <laughs> <laughs> your demotion. So. Yeah, it's okay. Steph, Steph had to leave because he couldn't take the pressure anymore. That's the real yeah. reason why he's not in the league anymore. I know, just... I know. I mean, the, the moment he stepped down as league organizer, he, he lost all his capabilities to to cheat and uh, and other right like shady dealings. Yeah, there's. I mean, it's 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 no coincidence. Let's just. Let's just say that. Maybe. So we have Akuchi uh, winning the first game. And their tight on starts. I think the, the worst feature that's gone from the previous two uh, implementations is the, is the dancing. Yeah, I mean, without a good dance, how do you even feel alive while playing Dominion? The exactly. game itself is so boring. Exactly. <laughs> they have a uh, Magpie, Wharf, Highway, no villages. Let's look at it first. I think that's the one that uh, you can trash an action and gain something, yeah. Yeah. And our castles. I, I've i read you're <coughs> a big fan of opening Humbling Castle, aren't you? Yeah, just gotta get that Humble Castle as soon as possible. I guess yeah. it's... Uh, it's going to be worth a lot over the course of the game, so... <laughs> the uh, stuff points out that nobody did advance on their Necro. Um, well, Rabbit still can. That's... Although, although, I'm not sure, because 
being able to play a second terminal here is it, it is indeed the only village so it's potentially not, um, quite nice n not totally crazy you can play two wars a turn there's enough draw yeah. with magpie to get I actually and highway so i think i, don't I think, think with it's the crazy. highways on the board you do want to have the two wharf option yeah We'll see if uh, Aku takes the humble castle for the trash. It might be okay with uh, getting the humble trash. Rabbit goes for the uh, goes for the trash and gets artisan. Yeah. So we'll see if one one wharf is uh, will cut it for him or not. Um. I quite like the magpie uh, humble castle trash hovel opening. Yeah. Probably take a. Espe especially if you, if you get this as a. You draw the five right away. So I guess war for counterfeit are fine. So for people not too familiar with the castles, like uh, one of us at least. <laughs> I will show what they do. It, this gains a silver twice, so that's a uh, castle you really want to pass up, would you? Rabbit buys develop, which I don't quite follow. It's especially strange with the uh, with the shelters. Like yeah, I mean. You really only would get some copper trashing out of it. And so. you already has a artisan. And you can you can trash coppers with uh, counterfeit, so you don't really need to develop. No, I think it'll just get in the way. And really, silver's quite nice since you're buying fives. Um, I don't think having a silver would. I think having a silver would be quite a bit better. I guess DG points out what you can do with it, which is advance it, but... That's uh, actually good points. So... <clears throat> so that may be enough to mitigate it, though I don't really hate just having a silver anyway. Just get a second wharf here as uh, well, maybe counterfeit because he doesn't have one yet. I might take an artisan, though I can see second wharf or counterfeit. So Rabbit is going to be able to get a couple of fives here, because he can advance the develop and also buy something. Yes. If he wants to, he may just trash the copper. He can trash the uh, silver and get like Highway Magpie or something, and well he doesn't have done enough buys to also get the advance. So we'll probably just trash copper, advance develop, and get highway wharf. So we, we knocked the develop, but it all panned out. It was part of his master plan. We were just to... Uh, this is why we're not playing in this match right now. Well, probably neither of us can remember it, what Advance does or that it's on the board <laughs> after we see it, you know, 30 <laughs> seconds later. Well, that, that it's like, a, uh, that it's would, like a goldfish. Uh, that would absolutely never happen <laughs> to me. I mean, uh, probably I just see see the landscape uh, shaped thing and just ignore it because, well, 
It's so big. Can't be good. I mean, I'm lucky if I see six of the kingdom cards. I mean, that's uh, well, six is a lot. You can you can make quite amazing decks with uh, with six kingdom cards. Yeah. So, yeah. don't knock yourself down. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed there, just uh, ignoring the the crumbling castle. Which is correct. <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you, uh, you, 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 can, you can, hey, you can buy it to get the silver, you can then develop it, get another silver because you trash it, and then <laughs> gain another silver of developing <laughs> it. That, that's like the ultimate combo. What a deal, three silvers. The, uh, Aku had a nice thing there where his magpie found the humble castle, so he both put it into his hand and gained a magpie. Lovely. Which is... Not very likely, but it was pretty cute. He should definitely advance the mech by here. Yeah. Since the highway splits, pretty huge deal. Yeah. Indeed, get two highways. That's quite a good turn. It's a bit unfortunate for him that he drew his wharf dead, but I think I think Aku would have been better served to get the counterfeit sooner. Yeah, for sure. I think over his uh, first wharf would be good. I'm not sure how big a fan I am of the the artisan. It just it seems so slow, and it doesn't uh, help with cycling. Uh, <coughs> it's hard. There's a lot of other. Like what you want to do is uh, do is uh, highways, magpies, and wars. And that gives you quite some draw and buying power. I mean the heart the artisan could help I mean, you. got it off his opening or off his first shuffle. I think it's I think if you get it uh, he did it all right, he opened with it essentially. Yeah, okay. Um, I think at that point you're going to get enough good use out of it. I mean, he was able to gain counterfeits to hand and play them immediately and uh, I think there's some value there. This is going to be highway, or well maybe wharf magpie. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I would do the highway. He, he still has the necro, so he could very well play two wars. He's going another counterfeit now. Well, I think you're in the stage where really highway or wharf are more important now. I mean, the big thing, I agree with Lime Time, I think he should have trashed that silver and gotten two fives. I mean, I think you double highway there if you can. Um, I think his build, I think Aku, I like the direction he's going more, but I don't, I think his build order has been a little weird. The trashing has been later. And, uh, yeah, Symbol Aku has two ores, but we would like him to have four. <laughs> Yeah, so he can play two every turn, and he cycles so he for his deck uh, way faster. Yeah. So I don't know how the highway split went there. Rabbit did better, I'm sure, but I don't know how much. I guess I'm not positive, but I think Rabbit won that split. 
He's now Ravid can artisan for Wharf. Uh, and I think shift and playing playing wharves rather than artisan. You can even artisan for province. Yeah. I think at this point it would be a little early. But also, like also the, the, the problem for play. for a rabbit to switching to highways uh, to wharves is that you will draw very uh, a lot of those highways just that. Well, at most too, but his deck isn't really built for wharfs right now. No, but it's still to have the draw. So he's going to start on greening right away. I, I think, think that's a little I think premature. It, it should lose. Steph says Artisan for gold and go double province. He could. This also double provinces, but that would uh, have the advantage of having an additional gold. So. Question. Question is how. how uh, how good or how shitty is the rabbit's deck going to be uh, going forwards? Like, is this the best turn he will ever get, and he will now be lucky to get to even single province? Uh, well, he's a lot thinner. He might have another double province turn, but it would be sort of hard. I'm not sure how many. Magpies. Yeah. GSH is pointing out we missed the real power card on the board, which is Royal Seal. <laughs> there it is. Well, maybe yeah. uh, maybe Akuchi should just power the castles or something. Yeah, I mean, Aku can wait, right? He can yeah. build a little bit more because there's not a three pile and there's a huge stack of points in the castles. So Aki doesn't need to rush to match the provinces at all. Like I would, he probably will. I would get two wharfs here. And are, are any of these castles any? Well, he's, he's not. He's not getting to the attack. He, okay, but is he go getting two wharfs? I really hope he is. <clears throat> At least one. I mean, one would give him four. That humble castle is really going to uh, pay him big dividends. He tr he first trashed hovel, his hovel, then got another magpie off of it while drawing it, and now it's going to give him. Uh, one point for every uh, castle he gets. I, I would say Hamel Castle is the star of the game here if he wins. They're in Twitch chat. They're talking about potential three piles, but there's just none. Because for one thing, Rabbit's hand size is being reduced to three. Um, yeah, there's no chance of a three pile. Well, if you play, bo if you manage to play a bunch of highways and then counterfeit, counterfeit, but and play artisan, but that's just not happening indeed on uh, that hand. I don't like ah. picking up more golds here. Also in general, but <laughs> he's still troll limited. You can get Wharf opulent, I guess. Well, this would be a lot better if it was non terminal. Maybe a little too much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So he takes. I don't like that. The silver province. No, that's uh, that's a very strange move. We'll get at least one wharf, possibly two, because you're not getting to the shuffle now. So you want to have four wharfs in your deck. Yeah. I mean, he should and be then, fine either way. Yeah, but what does the province do? It just. I mean, Rabbit just does nothing this turn. Yeah, I agree. He could have trashed Counterfeit and bought a 5. No, yeah. He, he, he I could he, pretty nice Magpie luck this turn. He needs I mean, to he does have a lot of treasures, but still. Yeah, he needs to draw the Necro now. <laughs> he did it. <clears throat> like, he's the, he's the best. That's the difference between an uh, average player and a great player. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, drawing the right cards at the right time. Top deck those Necropolises. I would use this and probably trash haunted. Yeah, I mean it's definitely if you're gonna play it, it's better to trash the haunted than to trash it. Yeah, because you can still play it later. To uh, it's just strictly better. So. But there's no reason not to play it, right? He may be doing ma I mean, he may just be able to pile. I'm not sure. Um, well, he can trash Hunter to get the opulent, and I have three castles left. It goes seven, eight, eight nine. nine. So 24. Uh, seven. No, okay. So not that much. No. He has like sixteen dollars or something. Uh, eighteen, eighteen dollars. No, 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 I count it. Sixteen dollars. <clears throat> so he's short there. Although that would give him, I guess, a pretty massive lead. So is he like afraid that the rabbit might be buying the castles if he doesn't if he plays the if he plays a small castle? Because I can't really think of any other reason not to play it. Guess he's not playing it. I mean you can save it if you think you're gonna be able to use it to buy one of the more expensive castles. Yeah, but, yeah, but you he would have trashed the haunted, so he's still right. saving it. Yeah, not not playing it's just just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, I guess if he's super paranoid, but Rabbit's never going to get three more castles or whatever in a single oh. turn. Uh, yeah, it's, it does look overly cautious to me. And I he, don't really he, like I he, don't like the buys Aku's made, but the yeah. shape uh, his deck in is in he just really can't lose hardly. Yeah, and if you're going for the province then certainly it wouldn't hurt to get the other castle. Because Rabbit isn't no. scoring that many points from those castle. No, I, I agree. I think it would have made much more sense to trash the haunted and gain that that opulent. <clears throat> I 
GSH has some thoughts on leaving it because the next one is the one that gains you a duchy, so that would help uh, Rabbit more. But it wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't help Rabbit more. Um, he could have afforded it, but just yeah, barely. Well, and yeah, and, uh, it's not going to help him end the game. It's just going to make uh, his deck even more. Yeah, and two yeah two green cards in Rabbit's deck is awful. Yeah, like like he he played, I think he had, he has six highways, right or five. I'm not sure how that split went. So he, he played all or all but one of his highways this turn, and and he just has three coins. So yeah, this is like all his green cards, but. The last five cards, I guess, are a mixture of like. Uh, someone meme asks about the number of warps Rabbit has. I think he has one. I thought Rabbit had zero. But maybe he has one. Yeah, he, so he, he, he buys and gains a warp on, uh, on turn 9. Oh, it's 7 3, okay. <clears throat> Rabbit has one warp. If you're the person with seven highways, yeah, Rabbit just greens way too soon. Because if you've got seven highways, you want the greening to be much bigger and more condensed. Yeah, just just add two wars to your deck one each turn. And then play all your highways and wars. And Yeah, it's just if you have seven, then province costs uh, just costs one, and with the counterfeits, yeah. and you can just buy a whole bunch in one go. Yeah, there's no at at some golds before your final good turn. Good reason for. Um, yeah, I mean there wasn't really a three pile either that he had to watch out for when he took his double province turn. It was just. That wasn't an issue. He's contemplating something, like getting... I guess counterfeit couldn't hurt, but he's getting a lot of duchies. I think that just delays the inevitable, because now he has no... He has no endgame, and he's no. just a tiny bit ahead on points. That's he doesn't have a path to end the game. I guess with a really lucky draw here. Like if he shuffles all the highways to the top here, <clears throat> he might uh, be in a good spot. Yeah, he... Aku would be much better off if he already had that opulent though, I think. He just uh, barely does have the money to power uh, to buy the last three provinces. Oh, well, he does it like this: six, seven, eight. That's not going to work. No, he can advance it. Well, he can't <laughs> advance for any. Just the opulent works. Uh, Lime time's right though. He has a duchy pile out. Yeah. That well, wins. I guess he doesn't see it, otherwise he would be gone for it already. Yeah. Though sometimes I check my multiplication a couple times. 
Yeah, I, I, especially three, not not because there's. Five. <laughs> Well, usually yeah, three. Usually see. three times five is going to end up with disaster. But now with cost reduction, it's uh, okay. It's something I still mess up occasionally. That you think like, oh, I can buy five duchies for fifteen. Well, it's just yeah. the, the five is the costs. Yeah, swapping the VP value and the cost is. Uh, Pretty common. Yeah. Well, he does get a lot of points, so. So Rabbit can can gain a province here. Yeah, but he needs several completely dead turns from Akchi. Yeah. Well, he needs. He needs to play the wharf now, I guess, he to, needs to like, have any he shot needs like, though. He needs like six. He needs like six dead turns. <laughs> I think. <laughs> like, is there if in, this is eighteen? Well, that will be almost enough. The point gap so huge. Yeah, it's just not happening. But if he wants to go for it, he definitely should play the wharf now. Because that would give him somewhat of a turn next turn. This too, yeah. Well, it's lost regardless. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure it makes sense to say you should play the wharf to give himself a chance when I think that. There's just no chance. It's yeah. zero all all around. Like but. here, you can play this one right now to get uh, get a king and win yeah okay it's uh, nice to see the castles in action it's to yep. zero for Akuchi so he needs uh, well two more wins or actually 1.5 let's also befriend him I just befriended Rabbit to be able to see the table he uh, hasn't uh, yet. It's still uh, unrequited love, unfortunately. <laughs> that half heart, it's just. Uh, it's really sad. It's really, really crushing. I don't know if I have any half harters. <laughs> I have yeah, everyone's I have just so desperate right to be my, my <laughs> friend on Dominion games. So. GSH says Aku deserved to lose for missing that in, but Aku played way better. <laughs> yeah. For the whole game, I mean. If trading does that gives cash. It's okay to put it on grand markets. But grand market isn't it could see play, but it's mostly going to be Mountebank <coughs> and if you have yeah. four you'll probably open Nomad Camp. Yeah. So that you might hit Mountebank on uh, turn two. Otherwise, I would yeah, just go double silver, I guess. You could go some kind of crazy attempt at double tactician with the uh, Necro warehouse. Storyteller. Well, <laughs> I think just single tactician because there's. Well, there's payload in uh, grab markets, but. Without a trashing, the the junk from Mountain Bank is going to be so overwhelming. Yes, yeah, there's a silver house over. Uh, you can you can try silver. it with storyteller. Um, the tactician is basically yeah. Sellers I, I, your, I don't think it's coppers. it's not. 
totally crazy. You could also add an ironworks to get a ton of vagrants somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, filter a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you might as well try it. It's the only interesting thing here. Otherwise, you just play mountain banks and buy. Buy money and play a very boring game. Buy money. It's yeah, I, I do. I do believe in the tactician thing more. Well, you can also, you can also just do mountain bank money and single tactician. That's I think that's yeah. better than just uh, just mountain bank money. But it's probably a bit worse than actually trying the configured engine. Get through so many coppers. There's a copper hanging in the screen. That's gone. They like to just. Sometimes they get tired. Yeah. Moving from the pile to the discard. They just. I understand. That's so. They have to take a breath. <laughs> it's so repetitive. Like, I would add a tactician here. Training on storyteller is also interesting. Yeah. <coughs> there, they seem to be just going for. Well, at least rabbits just just going for the money, and um, yeah. Akuchi is trying something with storytellers. It seems at least yeah. designed to to cycle quickly, which yeah. looks okay. I think he should probably get the tactician here. Yeah, Aku, yeah, his five, maybe uh, both of them. I I think both of them. They're blocking pretty well. He's getting uh, getting another storyteller. <coughs> I'm not sure Aku really has good enough treasures that the storytellers are <laughs> worth it. Maybe once he maybe if he trains them, that might be something. It kind of seems like to me he's just buying them to get through his deck quickly and play his mountain banks as often as possible and not yeah. not as part of some other strategy. Seems to be just that. This is one of these where you can filter a million cards and still end up with like four dollars. <laughs> yeah. Just you can nothing. If you, f you if you have filtering, but you have if your deck is one hundred percent garbage, <laughs> then all you do is see lots of garbage. Uh, that reminds me of the game we played a few weeks ago, where I I won the ruin split big time, and you built some crazy engine with warrior when you could play all your all your ruins. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just bought harems and eventually won the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was. I remember that one now a little bit. I just remember that the harems. I was just playing on for no reason. I was lost like really, really early on. But I 
At least you got to play me Plenty of Ruins. Probably more than you've played in any other game yeah. in your life. Yeah, that's true. Alright, now I've got the training. That's nice. So the rabbit went for the tactician and he has somewhat of a tough choice here. <laughs> yeah. This is where you need to be uh, spectating. Yeah, and, for sure. And the, the, figure the, out that your opponent has that uh, curse. Uh, this is uh, this clear evidence that Rabbit is uh, leaving a sizable edge on the table by not uh, having an uh, alternative count and yeah. looking at uh, Akuchi's hand. That or he just decided this wasn't the point to reveal it. You know, he just. There's too many eyes on this game. It would yeah. look uh, suspicious. It's, it's, it's too, too obvious a spot. The the three four the four dollar hands are awful. <laughs> There's just nothing to buy. Here he gets a nice tactician hand. Well, let's just hope he doesn't uh, draw a mountebank with warehouse. So then he would have another. Uh... Oh, that's a tough spot. That's a tough choice. I hope he does draw it in this time he plays the tactician when the mountain bank would <laughs> hit. These would have been terrific cards to have on the tech turn. Yeah. <clears throat> this is one of those where, I mean, I don't, I certainly don't know what's left in this deck, but it may be. It might have been a point where it's better to play the attack without playing these warehouses. But I don't know where his good cards are. Here he's just spinning around. Like, he has mountebanks left, has he? So I think he has one, so, so he should if, stop. If, yeah, if you plan to play the tactician, you should not uh, go on with this. I guess he's just going for a clean shuffle. I, oh, oh wow. necro! This, this is for great. If, if you remember it, I have a necro amount of left, and he's a genius. Yeah. I mean, at that point, with the five cards left, he might have known for sure. Yeah. It's hard to say if he was thinking of that from the first warehouse, but it was nice. Steph just wants to disagree with us. We just we'll just ignore Steph. Yeah, we already said. I just said he's a genius, so that's more than fine. And um, uh, I think indeed uh, a a ten noir. This is the first time he played the tactician. Yeah. <coughs> So he's gonna. He's not gonna take a curse here. He may. Well, it's not likely, but it's possible he gives out the last two curses on his turn. That would really. Uh... I didn't know Rabbit had a grand market. I missed that as well. So nothing uh, too he, exciting. He won't be playing and he won't be playing any mountebanks. If he had found a storyteller, he could have drawn a lot, but didn't pan out. Like, what are you even going for in Rabbit's spot right now? I might. Double DG says trained warehouse. I don't know how many warehouses he has. That's not crazy. I mean, just. I mean, it's fine to just even get golds, really. Well, you can train uh, warehouse and buy two additional warehouses. Yeah. I do. I do agree that you should probably train something. 
can train Vagrant still even. It's actually quite okay Vagrant to train Vagrant, because they're they're going to help uh, drawing through all the junk. See if he does training. Training, training. So I guess the storyteller split is three four right now for Aku. A rabbit should just pick another one up here. Yeah. The curses are not going well for Aku. No, he is uh, also... This mountain is going to miss. Yep. Otherwise it would have been okay, 6-4, but if it's going to go down to 7-3, that's really uh, disappointing. Fortunately for... Aku Rabbit has already seen the uh, two mountain banks. Yeah. He's gonna get into the shuffle a little bit, but probably not super far. He's going is, to draw. Is his tactician he's... down in here, or did he discard it earlier? That's a good question. I think. Yeah, well, he discarded That's... it. That's pretty clear. <clears throat> All right. So Aku is going to block so unless he gets to Necro in a second mount of bank. Well, this is uh, this okay. I'll go for a double vagrant here, I guess. Well, house is okay, but I don't really want to risk a pile out while being uh, pretty pretty far ahead. Yeah, the silver is fine too with the storytellers. Your vagrant will hit sometimes, but not not really that often. I mean, it would be hard for them to gain four warehouses quickly. That's not going to, like... Rabbit's the only one with any extra buy. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. So the pile lowering, I mean, five turns is not... Until, Ra until Aku has buy or extra gains... The piles aren't really a consideration. There's just so many. But realistically, they're something only Rabbit can safely lower. Aku can't. So I guess you'd, you'd just draw a whole bunch of stuff here and then. Yeah. Buy a province. Yeah, I mean, he's going to. Profit storyteller or something like that. He's gonna end up trading a bunch of good treasures for garbage, but <laughs> he's but he'll have he'll have a lot of garbage. Yeah, he, he has a draw your deck engine. Yep. I think you maybe I think I think you you do want to you might have worked. 
you do want to keep the hovel. Yeah, I, I think so too. But it, it's really slow though. Yeah. To set it up. But the other stuff is slow too. Yeah. Huh? Like like you do need story a lot of storytellers, a lot of good treasures, then double tacticians and a whole bunch of crab markets. And you can't really buy a lot of crab markets when you've already used all your treasures to no. draw your garbage. Yeah. I mean it would be I guess it would be more like single tack for a while and then <clears throat> maybe if you're lucky to get yeah, that's pretty hard to get the grant. And the grand markets are so expensive. Maku is just taking coppers now, which I don't uh, really think is all that good. But. I think it's a bit strange. Like, I could see getting profit in Storyteller Tactician here. Oh yeah, Dr. Steelhammer points out the actual fatal flaw in the <laughs> double attack plan. Uh, which we failed to... Yeah, coppers are... Uh, Fail to notice. So that that's gonna make the grand market buying pretty pretty much impossible. <clears throat> well it would have been funny to start going for it. I mean, even if you had bought the tacticians you could just play them single tack. It wouldn't be a big deal. It wouldn't be a bad thing. So Rabid manages a double province here. I think uh, Personally, I would have grabbed the last storyteller. Promise storyteller vagrant, or promise storyteller silver, or promise storyteller warehouse would have been nice too. I think he could have gotten another tactician as well. He had eighteen, right? Yeah, yeah. He could have done two fives, so he could have gotten tactician. So here, Aku basically had a province hand. And then he decided to he didn't cycle. Actually, he, he didn't quite have a problem. Maybe he did. He must have, right? This is he'll still have a province hand, I guess. But this is actually a little risky. This could draw him less money than he plays on it. Well, just playing one isn't risky, I guess. <laughs> hmm. If that was all his storytellers, he should have gone to the end of the shuffle. Instead of leaving some of this stuff, these cursed coppers. Yeah. Well, he does have a warehouse, but indeed. This is quite now they enough. just start buying yeah. duchies. Well, with all the sifting, it's not hurting that much. It's no. It's I mean, the, the big thing here is Rabbit can get that tactician play again. Yeah, when he hits a tactician, he just uh, double pros again, probably. And then it's just over. Again, I was playing Storyteller with a whole bunch of coppers. That's not really going to do you any good. I mean, I think he had to there. I mean, there's no... Yeah, and well, he, he has the, the training on it, so... It's not terrible either. Yeah. I mean, this is how I would have liked the other turn to play, to yeah. go to the, well, the shuffle. Yeah, he, he, has the, he has the province, so it worked out. I think uh, Rabbit should just try to get to the tactician, yeah. I think I would just play it now. Even if he... Even if he still has the Necro left. <coughs> mm. 
Dur I'm not sure. There isn't that much value to playing a necro and one mount a bank and a tactician. No. Compared to keeping your good guards for the tactician turn. Right, but at this point, how many story does he have? I mean, if you know you have storytellers left in this five, then I think you want to play it, play the tactician now. But yeah. It and depends it, on knowing what's left in the deck. I don't know what it is. He did have at least a storyteller on a mountain bank. Because he just drew them. And yeah. I don't know how good would an estate be. I don't think it would be bad, but not um, not at all necessary to make some risk. I, is this card in a tactician? It's pretty strange. I mean, the tactician would pretty much have given him a win next turn. I mean, I don't know if you can count on getting double province. Um, well, but if Akuchi gets single province, then the province duchy isn't that far fetched. Yeah, no, that's not. No, I mean, I, I think it's a mistake to not play the tactician. I like, you're one point behind, so, that, so you really don't want to get province here. <coughs> no. I mean, this may cost him a game, especially if he's if he's drawing with the goal of buying a province, then he's just losing. When when the tactician is really the thing that gives him the winning position, he is going for the duchy, so that is. At least not losing right away. No, but now Aku can... If he... Aku should definitely go for the province here. That's just... Uh, totally clear. I mean, Aku has the worst deck, so he should just take his... Yeah, absolutely. His opportunities when they come. You can't scoff at a province hand when you're Aku. Because duchy, I mean, going through the duchies isn't helping you at all. No, it's just uh, losing slowly. I mean, Lime Time's right that that's all his money. Uh, so it's, his odds of provincing next turn are low, but. Well, well still. He, he does have some more golds, doesn't he? But yeah, this, uh, is, this is. He has some more silver. He has a this amount is, of things. This is definitely above average. Yeah, I mean, I think this is his only gold. Okay, yeah, Rabbit has at least this one gold. I... He takes it, yeah. I mean, Rabbit here is just gonna do like his state and play the tactician. Yeah. Though he doesn't. The estate doesn't really do all that much. I guess it makes it a little easier to pass him. Province estate if Aku manages a duchy. Yeah. Well, if he manages duchy 24, yeah. Well, you still need 9, and that's enough, so. I will, I will buy the estate for no other reason that you can afford it. It's late in the game, you get points, but I'm not sure it's actually any good. <laughs> so, Rabbit will start drawing six more cards. I guess if he knows what his last card is, if he knows his last card is money of some sort, it's actually better to not play any of the treasure. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be quite a gamble. Uh, but that would be some really, really good deck tracking. There's some really... I don't I wonder what it was. All right, uh, th th this it. is uh, going to be game. Just buying the province is enough. He has to enhance, so... Oh, I played 
wait for coin buy just to maximize stuff. Maybe maybe ma ma maybe coin cards. But it uh, really doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, we have at least a rabbit victory, so that uh, prolongs the game. The at least the interesting part of the match, like who's going to be the next champion. It's going to be yep. a, f a three minute break. What's the score? It's uh, w uh, one for Rabbit, two for Akuchi. It's also somewhere yep. over here in the screen, though you probably missed right now because the background is particularly conducive. Oh well, it looks kind of okay still. It's still, still visible. Yeah. The Lime white uh, on uh, is still on dark, yeah. so. Yeah, Lime Time is being uh, deliberately obfuscating the what's actually going on. He's, he's Lime time he, is misinforming. He's spreading the fake score. It's it's sad. I'm going to get a, get a quick drink. I'll be right back. All right, now that Philip's gone, we can have the real fun. I don't know what that means, but. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Oh, Burning Skull wants to hear Burning Skull wants to hear an anecdote. Okay, well, we got to keep them entertained. Oh no, Aku's ready. Never mind. <laughs> no anecdote <laughs> necessary. Okay. Well, M Mick, you could tell us uh I, I I'm not going to indulge Stefan as you three times that will be cruel, but but a second time can't hurt. W what happened to you to, to you this season? Will we be seeing well, you in the so Champions League match? Uh, you 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 I you told me you watched the you watched the DG match, right? Yeah, you I did. I video, did. So. <clears throat> that was my crowning achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the result, I mean, the result three three was okay, but the two of those games they were they were, <laughs> they were terrific. Stuff. Some of my best work. <laughs> Oh man, I, I did forget what it was. It was somewhat with an estate rush in the end. Uh, what was your? It was this messenger. It was messenger loan estate rush. Yeah. <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic strategy. I mean that that was. I mean, I did that knowing it would not work. That was not like. <laughs> I wasn't confused about what the outcome would be. <laughs> oh man. Everyone watching right now sh should go watch uh, the Mick versus DG match just for that one game. It's it's probably some of the best of me and you've ever watched your entire life. And then the other one, I resigned like turn five or something, which was just I don't I don't know why I did that. But was it because you you had gone to King's Court or something? I put I put a lurker or I used lurker to put a yeah. King's Court in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> just taking a chance, and he got it. So no no. I think you were the one who, who only had lurkers, then took a chance putting the king's court in trash. Then, in response to that, he bought a lurker, and he yes. got the king's court out before you. And you, that you yes. were, you were so completely on tail that you resigned the game. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was sort of on real tilt and sort of on uh, <laughs> just messing around. But uh, <laughs> the that was the that was the, how it worked out. <laughs> I, 
he bought a couple. I mean, it wasn't even like that unlikely of an outcome. I, I, by the time we both shuffled, I shuffled first, but I only had one lurker, and then he shuffled, and had two, and he drew his before me. So it wasn't, it wasn't actually all that unlikely of an outcome. But <laughs> it also the board just looked like who gets who got lucky, lining King's Court up with lurker more. Yeah, it looked like that was how the kingdom would play out. So, I don't know. I was I was a little bit on tilt. <laughs> but, but we have we have a have a great game right here with the uh, obelisk on trading post. So you clearly want to pile this. It gives two victory points for each one you have. And Akuchi can start right away. It's uh, yeah. it's really great to be open uh, ba to be able to open trading posts. Yeah. With it being the, uh, the trading post five two is it's it's one of the strongest five twos, <laughs> and and one of the weakest like trashing second shuffles. It's really a yeah a strange uh, combination, but it's when you can open with the trading post, it can often be game over uh, when your opponent can't. And uh, there's DG is being kind to me and being nice to me in the chat uh, but it <laughs> but it's not it's not true what he's saying he did plenty of good things <clears throat> there is transmute that could be uh, could be a thing here you uh, yeah. you, you crush my spirits pretty hard by uh, by gaining a transmute for the win Oh yeah, that was another lurker board. <laughs> I put that transmute in the trash as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Then I got, yeah, then yeah. I got <laughs> there were like five transmutes in the trash, just because you didn't yeah. want to give me any good lurker options. And then in the end, yeah. y you gained it to to trash something for a duchy, and that uh, that gave me the points. I think maybe there was another way to do the win on that turn that I did it. But I well, that, that, that doesn't of that course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to turn down that opportunity. Um, this uh, pretty big engine with uh, city quarter being the I mean, only this is, yeah. draw. This is pretty clearly night stuff, though. Um, I guess the knights actually don't matter so much with the lighthouse. This is pretty. Uh, well, no, he got the uh, trashing off already. I thought for a moment that it uh, fell to the bottom. Yeah. The thing is with the trashing and a lot of lighthouses, stuff says you ignore the knights. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, uh, I mean, I can. S you might get some attacks in though, early on. I mean, Bailey is a pretty safe one to pick up as far as that goes. Bailey is okay it's if it if it reveals like Destry, you want it as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you won't you won't be attacking all that much. So uh, I would get the Bailey here, and I would get Destry here. Like this, the second time I uh, I, pr I predict the next card. First with the Necro, one of yeah. one out can of eleven, and <laughs> now one out of nine. <laughs> can you get the next nine? <laughs> no, I can't. My, uh, You're not gonna. I mean, once you get it right once, there's no reason to yeah to risk to your <laughs> risk your uh, risk your uh, image reputation. yeah. So we'll see if he takes it. Hagler and uh, Smalley. So Hagler is not all that great here, mainly because it doesn't interact all that well with the city quarters. Yeah. Uh, though it may be still useful to up your action count a little bit. I agree.
I learned that messenger strategy from JSH. He's, <laughs> I imagine he's, he's saying he, I just couldn't pull it. I just couldn't pull it off. I didn't have the the real skill. JSH likes to tell about talk about adventures playtesting and say that he won games using the messenger rush, <laughs> but that's just not true. <laughs> GSH is, is a king of the power rush. Yeah. Aku should probably take city quarter here. But he could take something else. <clears throat> Yeah, I agree with the city quarter. This the trading post is also really nice to move into a city quarter deck because you actually have money to pay for them to get out of debt. Uh, yes, I agree, DG, that this game is over. Um, even though there is a lot left. Steph is, uh, Steph is suggesting a second trading post for rabbits. I mean, yeah, you you gotta protect and extend the uh, the point lead. <laughs> I uh, don't. I don't. I'm uh, not. I'm not really see. I'm not seeing it with the warehouse <laughs> and. Aku can just keep buying city quarters. Yeah, another city quarter would pretty much uh, seal the game. <laughs> this is a great hand. Is uh, getting through the deck uh, quite well, and he will probably continue to do so. Yeah, he pick up another city quarter here. Uh, maybe another hamlets and a city quarter. The uh, and there's a good chance next turn he attacks rabid, unless rabid has a lighthouse here on top of the deck. Baku gets Hagler. I mean, that's okay. Um, yeah, w once you have fit enough deck and enough city quarters, then you can ultimately go for provinces and gain action cards with it to keep your action density high. But it seems yeah. a bit early. I think you still want city quarters. Uh... This is what Rabbit gets for listening to Steph. Um, proper punishment. Yeah. Well, he, he does have the point lead, so you gotta give him that. Yeah, get those obelisk. I don't think I've ever... Well, this is a lie, because I'm sure I have at some point, but basically never paid any attention to obelisk. Except at, like, maybe the end of a game or something. Uh, there was a... Uh, the Rebuilt game yesterday, I think, with uh, Obelisk on tournament. So this was quite good. Mhm. Mm but you buy you're buying tournaments anyways, right? I mean, yeah. It doesn't maybe do buy a few more, but not not like a huge number more. Indeed. Like you probably discard uh, silver for a buy here. Yeah. As long as uh, Aku. Um, 
I would say doesn't put doesn't put in too many treasures. He should be good. Yeah, stuff's a Discord haggler, buy more cities. That's not crazy. I do think he's two city quarters is not enough. <clears throat> yeah, you uh, two more, two more this turn, and then uh, going for what he's doing now would have been better. You should get a warehouse with this walled village, I think. Though Hamlet is all right too. Um. Rabbit's resigning, which is 100% reasonable. Yeah, so trading post conquers again. <laughs> okay, we're at the uh, match point. If uh, Akuchi uh, wins or ties any, any of the last two games, he is the new champion. Battlefields. Battlefield is another one I think <laughs> ignore. <laughs> it's just complete. <laughs> I was at, at someone like, I'm not sure it was even opening a state, but either opening it or getting it on turn 3, 4, and I was so completely confused yeah. that, <laughs> that I was asking, <laughs> am, I, am, am I missing something? But it, it's a bit of more reason to, to open island, I guess. Yeah, the, the island you can the islands you can do. I think I would open islands here. Um, but other things, not so much. The <laughs> the estate. I, I think you would uh, you will buy double delve, right? Yeah. So, so I find battlefield only works if you're like like if there was ironworks on this board with the island. I mean, you would just you would just be totally zeroed in on that but um, otherwise unless there's like mostly ironworks but <laughs> some way of gaining the, the cheap VP cards quickly it doesn't seem to be that important to worry about battlefield I guess Time Time uh, says island estate, and I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Serious? I hope he isn't. I, no I think I would. I would the estate. Either go guides or wishing well, I guess. Yeah. The. Akuchi is going for Sofager. Okay. I like uh, rabbits open. Uh, I like it better. I don't. I don't mind the salager. I mean, I don't. I don't think the two more points are that big a deal. Um, I think I would get at least one silver this shuffle. Maybe, yeah. No, I, I would. Hmm. I would buy a guide here. Steph mentioned uh, procession on guides. Uh -huh. I guess when it's it goes on a match, you don't trash it. So. Yeah. That's quite good. But I'm not I'm still not sure what the procession procession stuff is building towards. Well, you can procession guides um, and g uh, gain islands. <clears throat> yeah. You're not there's zero fives, so you're not taking the fours anywhere. Well, um, you, you you're not you're not processing the forts, the forts, just 
just I guess guides oh. and some other freeze and then uh, you draw your deck and do some stuff like yeah I, I don't know it seems it seems better than uh, whatever else you could do not having it yeah. I mean I wouldn't put them in too soon though because you're trashing super slow I mean I guess if you have a lot of threes it feels to me like you can put the procession in way too early and just have it with. Well, with the, with the number of wishing wells and stuff, uh, uh, rabbit is already having. I don't think it has a very high chance of whiffing. Um. And if you have like a guide already on the mats, then. If your hand is uh, bad, you just guide it away. And how does that deck do against someone who starts buying IGGs? You, I guess you go, you add a bishop or something. I'm, ju I'm not sure how f how quickly you get to the point where you draw the deck, but it seems like it's worth going for. Steph said at Ireland sooner against IGG, yeah. So you start out mostly with processions and free costs and then depending on what your opponent does, you either at Ireland earlier or later. Makes sense. Aki seems to have a mix of silvers and actions, which doesn't <laughs> seem like the right mix. I could certainly believe in something going high number of silvers and IGGs doing okay against the engine. It just depends on how quickly the engine can clean up. Yeah, then w you would just open like Island Silver and add a smithy. I guess. Yeah, or you could open triple silver. Steph agrees with your triple silver open. That, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what he's referring to, the agreeing. Just because we're a little delayed, so I don't know what what thing I said. You know, I say so many correct things. Yeah, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a silver <laughs> thing. Time is asking what uh, what kind of cards the rabbit is having. Well, not that much. He's uh, now the IG, the IG going. is going. Yeah, now it's serious business. I think he has more wishing wells than coppers at this point. Well, three. Yeah, now you certainly wish for copper. I guess, uh, I guess Rabbit could uh, get rid of these wishing wells and islands, and or he could buy IGGs. He's got a big points lead. He could, he could maybe pursue lowering the piles. 
It does so sound... I want to make sure to get more of the battlefield, I guess. Like another island here, or would you go? I I would think I would go procession then. I guess he could pick up his guide as well. He's still got this. Yeah, as long as he's got a curse, he can keep getting the islands. I guess the question is, how? Uh, what's Rabbit's third pile? I was asking why he would stop buying islands now. I think procession is going to be better long term. And the first time you play it, you just make up for not getting the island that time, and still buy another island that turn. So it just seems like a better investment, given that Akuchi is ignoring the islands. I don't know what Rabbit's deck will do after he has he these. Need, he needs to wish you know, he'll for have 20. Uh, that was a wrong wish, wasn't it? Should have been copper. <clears throat> Since if it was. No, that's not true. I think the wish was okay. Yeah, the wish was fine. He didn't have another draw card, so it wasn't that situation. I'm not sure what Rabbit's doing after this island stuff is done. He just has coppers, right? Um, Aku can salvage the IGG or the procession here and get another province, and he'll be just two points behind. Yeah, he's... And, uh... and quite a bit more treasure he can actually keep buying provinces yeah he, he should the... get a get a at least he, he might get a island and another four. Oh wow he's ignoring the the victory i think that was that, really weird that's a mistake i, I don't like that buy i, I think getting um, island procession or something would have been okay but yeah. not taking this is I think just province would have been fine. Too. Yeah, I, w I would have liked the island a bit better, I guess. I don't know why you would. I don't. I don't quite see why you keep around the procession. He doesn't seem to have the deck in which the processions do a lot of work either. So I would have trashed the procession before the IGG. At that point. But I would have gotten some piece of green to get those last two VP. But again, what is Rabbit's deck capable of now? I don't know. I guess you could add a bunch of delves and go for. Yeah, you get delf now. <clears throat> the Aku's deck isn't much better. Again, it's a mixed bag. It's like silvers and and a small number of actions. Um, are not really action dense. Yeah. I don't think procession guides Smithy big money with delves is a thing because you just don't line up your procession with actions reliable enough to warrant having a procession at all. I think Aku could have I don't I don't like all the actions in Aku's deck. I think honestly I think Smithy Big Money beats this what <laughs> Rabbit's doing. I think Smithy Delve Big Money beats what Rabbit's doing. Maybe with this maybe with this Salvager Island opening to get some of the estates out, but after that Yeah, you may well be right. I mean it's this is just no there's not like any power in this deck. There's nothing's gonna like suddenly explode. DG is, GG is turn. saying that uh, rabbits should go for IGGs now. I mean, I think that's reasonable. Um, Definitely wish for wishing well. The 
to see if any copper is at the side. No, so he has seven. Could get that uh, to Delph uh, IgG, that would be great. Like now you want to wish for Curse, I guess. Well, or just want to leave it there with the islands. So maybe just wish for something you don't have at this point. Is that all of his wishing wells? I think there's wishing well curse island left in the last three. Then you might as well wish for wishing well, right? Oh yeah, in, in, in that case, you're, you're, you yeah, you can uh, indeed do, uh, do get it. Get everything. Uh, yeah, of course. But wishing island or curse doesn't seem very good. So you just wish well. Yeah. <laughs> and and go for that. He does it and reveals the island, so I think you should go for Delph uh, IgG here. GSH is suggesting triple Delph, but I don't know. I guess the salvage thrashing is so slow that the curse uh, is really quite bad for your opponent. I think the curses are pretty pretty harmful. Aku's deck is like fragile too in a sense that there's his turns only look good if he lines procession up with something and so there there's a real chance of the procession becoming like a curse in a bunch of hands and yeah just adding on the IGGs now is uh... is the way to go I'm rooting very much for a rabbit this game, because then we would have a last game to be the decider. He is going, going for the, the double delve delves, guides. Okay. I don't think it's terrible, but I would have loved to see the IGG thing. So now Aku will lose another action and have uh, fewer guide targets. Fewer procession targets. Yeah, you, sorry, fewer procession targets. He'll have a deck with too many smithies. So if Rabbit isn't... going for IGGs, this game could last a really long time. <laughs> it should just end on uh, IGGs, I think. IGGs curses. So maybe Akuchi is kind of transitioning and just big money smithy and can buy provinces in due well, time. I thought he was going to do that like four turns ago, but he keeps <laughs> he keeps buying. There was some kind of undo. Undo, yeah. I'm not he really. He keeps buying more actions, so I don't think he's doing that. Um. 
and like his turn nine, he trashed yeah. the pers- he trashed the IGG, not the procession. So he's been, so he's really committing to trying to build this procession guide thing. Um. I don't. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I think Rabbit uh, should buy a guide here. Yes, one. Okay. Well, I would get another one regardless. Probably play the wishing well, wishing for wishing well. And don't play the guide first. That's just suboptimal. Last card is another wishing well. Yeah. I y- guess Rabbit's y- deck y- is clean enough he can actually uh, buy provinces. I think I would just keep the wishing well there, because why would you draw yeah, the garbage? There's not, there's not more to draw really. So just wish for like a gold. I still like Delph IGG. I think over the province here. Uh, pre- Sor Sor asked a question in the Twitch chat. He asked why wishing well first. With fewer cards in your deck, you can guess better. Hmm, that's kind of true. But on the other hand, when you play the Wishing Well before another draw card, uh, you can wish for a stop card. Then if you have it correctly, you can then play the guide and get the card that's after it. And if you miss and have a good card, uh, then you draw it anyway with the guide. So you just have a lower chance of stalling. And even here you... He did hit a silver once. So I think you also would have gotten to the end. I mean, he had multiple wishing wells in hand, so... I mean, it's nice that... It's kind of nice to have just a pure cantrip. It's a little... uh, and he's he's asking more questions like he had two wishing wells uh, for reshuffle considerations it's a little cleaner to have a pure cantrip left over than a wishing well um, yeah if you uh, anticipate or not wanting to trigger, trigger the shuffle then that's definitely true so but it's not it's not, it's I mean, not in that terrible case, in, in that s- in that specific hand, it wasn't really a big deal one way or the other. I yeah. would say. Yeah, I agree. It's. Um. So what did Rabbit get? Double Delve Island. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> I think now it's uh, time to get provinces for rabbits. So rabbit ends up with a nice clean deck, but 
hits like turn 14. <laughs> Well, he does have 33 points, so that's not he like... Has, he has a lot of points. But he wouldn't have that many if... I mean, he could... The split could have gone less than 10-2 easily. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you can count on quite that many. Well, but if the split was closer, then he would have switched to something else faster. Yeah, no, it's true. It's not... Uh, can't change just one thing. To me, it feels like if you're doing the engine that you want to be much cleaner than they are. Um, the rabbit's pretty clean. And if you're not doing the real engine, I would rather have just smithies and silvers, really. I mean, island opening is fine to get rid of the... A couple islands are really good to get rid of some estates, but and just to contest the battlefields. But now the is really uh, having the explosive turn, and it's still it's the payload is <coughs> okay, but nothing to uh, really. Celebrate about, and you no. still have. Faku wants to use bishop to catch up. He shouldn't buy province. Yeah, the point is a bit. If you want to do some engine where you score points with bishop, you should be getting the the victory cards. Uh, I just hurt you, you're already fragile deck even more. Yeah. Rabbit uh, only buys an island. It's, and you it's can, not bad. You can fuel the bishops with four gains from your guide processions, I guess. Um, so that kind of, I mean, I could see that if, if you weren't we weren't sort of rushing towards in-game conditions in various ways. He might be able to come back with something like that, but <laughs> the deck needs to be a lot cleaner. GSH is accusing uh, Akuchi of uh, slow playing. Slow playing. It's that, it's that <laughs> mental game. You just gotta <laughs> bore your opponent to death. GSH uh, has been uh, hunting slow mo for so long that he's just seeing slow mo, <laughs> slow mo's everywhere. He, see, he sees them as, as ni at night on the uh, <laughs> inner side of his eyelids. There's one player who mastered that tactic years ago and has used it mercilessly for a reign of terror. <laughs> Some of you may have heard of him. His name starts with an S. <laughs> the next letter is not an L. <clears throat> but it's sort of shaped like one. <laughs> well, th there are some other players are actually even worse. That is true. He he's not the worst by far. <laughs> Would have been a good alt. JSH's name. Stephanie, <laughs> yeah. Stephanie, slow pay. That was indeed the slow mo alt. I wish I was as cool as Lucky Ducky. I, I actually had yes. to, I, I, I had to laugh about something Lucky Ducky uh, said. At least someone reported it in Discord. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he said he reported someone <laughs> for being ridiculously yeah. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. how, how do you even come up with it? 
I do love that people worry. I mean, I don't want to make fun of the person report or complaining too much, but it's funny that you're like worried someone's gonna report you for that, <laughs> and are actually worried about it. Uh, Aku is trying to end it. Aku's going with the medium slow resign. Yeah, it's just sp they're spiling out the guides. It's, uh... Piling out one guide at a time. Put himself on a third, three turn clock, potentially. Though I guess Rabbit's not hugely li likely to just start buying guides, though he could, I guess. <clears throat> the, uh,. The 19 points is pretty big difference. That was a great guess. DG has a good pile out idea. Which is this <laughs> the silks. <laughs> It'll only take about eight turns. I'm not sure what the rabbit is considering here. He hopes you should just buy province. I mean there's no point in helping with the guides, I mean Aku's got that under control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, there's just no point to it. I mean, he's already, he's not too far from like half of VP. So, Rabid pile drive the islands. <laughs> <laughs> On his own. <laughs> <That's> and, has, <laughs> and has played them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amazing, actually. This is, I mean, the only way this game should last this many turns is if two people, or if one person is doing IGG and another person is not. Um, otherwise, well, he, no he, he does have a lot of points, so there, are, I really yeah, ca yeah. can't fault anything Rabbit is doing here. That, well, well he, he, he probably made some, made some mistakes somewhere, but uh, overall, I think. Uh, I like his play. I mean, you're right. You're right. There, there is a big points pool, so that extends the game. So. So now Aku buys his silver. <laughs> it just his deck is kind of incoherent. It's just like back and forth. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Everybody I'm... at Aku on Discord and just beg him to resign. <laughs> I, th I think he's the, he's the type of player who just r rarely, if ever, resigns the game. No, that's true. He doesn't very much. So players are that way. Yeah. I just like playing it out. Yep. I could definitely see it in some games, but games like this that are just... The only thing here that justifies it is Bishop. But that's the only out. Well, he should start... <laughs> Tenalin says he resigns in Hearthstone. Well, he should start resigning in Dominion because it takes a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> I would just trash the provinces right now. I would bishop them both. Yeah, this. <clears throat> Oh, he, you know he, he, he could he could procession the salvager and trash two provinces to have a double province turn for some sp style points. <laughs> I 
I agree with JSH that you want to procession the bishop. And you can replace it if you want to buy another bishop. But... I wish Rabbit had a salvager. That would it, uh, it would speed up the game, the game some, in. yeah. That would make the game in faster. <clears throat> It, it, it's particularly a bit strange that Akuchi is, is thinking so long about a game that has been really, really lost. Yeah. I mean, you can focus on your one way to win and just go with that, but then it's pretty clear what path you're taking. If you're not even clear about what you're yeah. going to do, then there's really no point in playing on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if your turn is you're playing this engine that has to come back with bishop points you know you gotta start having better turns more consistently so <laughs> less less treasures but there he's buying silver so what is I do not know why Rabbit called a guide on that hand I'm not sure either well he, a... he, he, he trashed a copper to uh, his opponent's bishop, oh. maybe he thought, well, five cards is better than four. Yeah. I didn't notice he had trashed a copper. I think I probably would have... Well, I'm not sure. I would have thought about not trashing the copper. Here, Rabbit can certainly just buy a guide. Yeah, I think I would wish for province and buy a guide. Maybe wish for silver and go for like a delf guide. Yeah. Province, uh, those province. I think wasting for province would have been better because the game isn't lasting long enough if you just buy the guides there to really have the addi additional silver make a difference but then again not having the province here isn't that uh and uh, now you just want to buy the guides and rabbit spots uh, just to end the game and not really because it's yeah. optimal because it's still optimal to well the question becomes I do think you just want the guides because there's just no way Akuchi is going to. He's not going to score oh, oh, 28 points in two turns. So no, I would just buy guides. You're, you're not just buy miss. guides. Yeah, you're not going to miss three. Aki doesn't have a 28 point hand. So uh, I would not play the wishing well here uh, at his first one, and then just buy uh, Delve guides. And then you win next turn. He, uh... I mean, Aku's got a hand he can start drawing some stuff with, but that's still... He still has so much garbage in his deck. Like, it's not clean. It's turn 20, and he's not clean, so... I, I was taking the conservative path. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's it's best, but it's not. Uh, it's very marginally better because you're winning regardless, and it prolongs the game. So M maybe it's a psychological ploy to get Akuchi so worn down that uh, he's in a worse mood for the last game. Yeah. <laughs> but but then again, Akuchi can counter that move by just resigning. So maybe he is the one who's uh, who's wearing a bit down. This is a... Aku's deck is, is just a mess. <laughs> I 
at least he's out of action. Oh no, he still has them, so... Okay, now he's out of actions. Yes, the province, 29. I st still would just not play the things and just buy guys. <laughs> yeah, just auto use that use that auto buy. Don't even bother delving. Just click the guide. I guess you can quick <laughs> wish for silver. <laughs> if he's going to buy Dutchy, I'm okay. Well, this. Uh, All right, it's over. It's over. Yay. Well played, Hooray. well played. This was. Uh, <laughs> We're going to the final match with uh, Akutia's first an player. It was an interesting board. Uh, I'm not really much of a fan of how it was played, though I imagine if I had played it, I would have also made a mess of it in some way. <laughs> I like islands, and here they are uh, especially good, so I would have gotten a bunch of islands. I'm not sure whether I would have gotten them all, but. GSH saying games like this are why the mean will never be a top esport. Well, th that's why I need Blitz. Like. Yeah, we gotta get that Blitz. Okay, we have the deciding match. If it's die, Akuchi wins. If Akuchi wins, Akuchi wins. And the okay. only way Rabbit, <laughs> Rabbit is winning this match is if he wins, and, <laughs> and then he wins by virtue of having a, <laughs> having a better third tiebreaker. <laughs> I, I don't think, think the, the, the guy who came up with the third tiebreaker ever uh, thought this would happen, so let, let's hope it does. Well, we can ask the guy since he's, you know, listening. <laughs> I don't know whether, whether think, Steph is the one who came up with Steph. it. Okay. Well, he... I, I think so. At the start, the league was pretty much just Steph, wasn't it? Yeah, but maybe the rules changed. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's true. That's it, true. It's not like not, it's not sure. <laughs> it's not like I ever read the rules of the league. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any Dominion League historians yet, so to look up all the interview all the original yeah. founders. I mean, I I just read, uh, I just play, and if there is uh, some big big debate, then I uh, read uh, all the lovely rants. But I'm not going to <laughs> to have any opinion on the actual rules. We need to get all the sorted details of how they rigged it, though. We have donate. It's always a uh, always a big thing, and then you can quickly get stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's true. There's some <laughs> question about your, about your reading ability in general. You know, are you literate, or is your computer talking to you? It's it, I'm time. I'm sure it's mostly the computer talking to me. I mean, I'm I'm I've always been a big fan of Microsoft Sam. <laughs> And I, I really just learned the cards by clicking on them and seeing what they did and sort of remembering it, but... But this thing is uh, quite great. I, I think the best thing about Donate and also Mountain Pass is that it has this uh, very special in between turn non face face it, it, it's officially <laughs> not a face but it's also kind of is because well just a face is uh something that's temporary and something that's a clearly defined clearly distinct state that's mm -hmm. different for other things so just by the formal definition it's a state but the main also says it's not a state uh, not a face so 
and that's uh, it's a really <coughs> great concept. I'm a fan of the the in between <coughs> turn uh, turn stuff. So in chat they're discussing the Ironworks donate opening, which is pretty nice. Uh, you just sort of automatically go um, heavy Ironworks. Like, but all, I, 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 all the good cards are for. Then you just you trash everything but Ironworks, or do you keep some covers? Yeah. But then, then paying off debt is really takes really long. Or do you like gain by ironworks? You you gain another ironworks immediately. And then you gain a bunch of tournaments. Yeah. Although I'm not sure. You can it, it, you it, can wait on the donate. <laughs> it's it it sounds really slow. The the good thing about donate is that you can do it turn three and you still trash everything. <laughs> you know, it's not yeah. like you fall behind on trashing. Um, so, I'm not sure. It would certainly be a thing you could test, you could play it out, because there wouldn't be a lot of shuffle stuff involved. So you could just, someone could load this kingdom up and play around with it and figure out what the fastest <laughs> thing is pretty easily. We, we could probably, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh... We could probably play this game five times before they're done. We can we can crowdsource uh, source solving the kingdom. Like everyone who's uh, watching right now can play a bunch of a uh, mm -hmm. bunch of turns. <coughs> Rabbit what? is what? going for the turn one, donate. Wait, what? Oh, he has the ironworks already from Aquachi's Messenger. That's uh, oh, that's, that's quite a thing. Nice. <laughs> this is that's Th exciting. That's amazing. <laughs> he should. I don't think he should have kept the coppers though. Yeah. And he go. He gets a silver. That's also questionable. Yeah, I'm not sure about the path there. But the turn one donate was pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, I think Akuchi has the better deck, even though he's quite behind in the build up. Like, what do you do here? Just double tournament in uh, Rabbit Spot? <coughs> I would go double tournaments. I think Rabbit will get to a province uh, and connect with tournament first. Yeah, he should be able to. Yeah, I, I agree with what Steph is saying. Yeah. Which is double tournament now. Ooh. Yeah, don't like that. That is one way to throw the game away. I mean, he'll gain tournament now and he'll buy province. Yeah, he could have done that without the silver and the gold. Yeah. It's not a very thin donate deck. And Rabbit has a terrible hand. At least he has the connection. And after this, he may just he, buy another. He, he, buy another do he, buy, he may buy another donate with this. I think I would that do that and get rid of all the the copper and silver and stuff. One thing is that if he buys another tournament or another province, I mean, um, Aku's tournaments are just not going to work. Yeah, but but, but also if he buys a donate, you can just uh, have the turn the province in hand for sure. That's true. And, and he has eight, so he's not in debt afterwards. I think another donate yeah. is clearly the best player. Yeah, and Psychomatic mentions that Aku missed the play order of his ironworks there. 
though I don't know if it I don't know if it would have let him get anything better maybe <clears throat> I think I will trash every all treasures except for the gold uh, if he buys down it now then you have uh, province in hand uh, guaranteed because you only have five cards Profi well, he already uh, has province in hand guaranteed for one turn yeah, but, but I would say uh, I'm assuming he's buying down it, but he isn't. I mean, your deck's going to be bigger ah, than five cards. But yeah, it's uh, it's over regardless. But I still would like to see a uh, second down it at some point. I I agree. I mean, there's not a good reason to have all those coppers and the silver around. Yeah, he, he would have been able to get double prizes even. Just get a second tournament, then gain trusty steed of the first, mm -hmm. play it, get uh, whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're right. That was better a better play. Does look pretty solidly one for Rabid. I don't know what price to take here. I, f I would Aki's take. Aki's not gonna. I mean, I would just take Steed here. Yeah, for, for sure. Aki's not. For sure. Aki's not getting a province this turn. He's probably not getting one. Well, he should be able to get one next turn, but. That's still so much time. I would get Steed here. And uh, even now in rabbit sports, I would just uh, gain tournament and buy yet another donate. It's still great to get rid of the coppers and the silvers. Because right now his next turn is kind of... I think it's a bunch of treasures that's left there. Two coppers and silver. Yeah. He has two silvers, right? Because he gained silver twice with yeah, iron. Yeah, he has two silvers, right. Uh, he's, he's, he's committed he's to just, this. He's just going path. to buy the empty provinces. I mean, he's going to win still. <laughs> but... I think the cleaning up would have been quite good. Yeah. Uh, Can still do it, Get like gain uh, followers, draw more cards so you have more of those uh, treasures. So you buy something and donate and pay off your donates. He's probably just going to province. Yeah, if he didn't do it either of the other times it doesn't uh, seem like he's it's something he's thinking about yeah I would just get followers here but that's not because it's so great for yourself but I guess if Akuchi gets it then that's one of the few ways he might have a way back in the game I 
Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, he's uh, throwing the game and Rabbit is a new champion and the first person ever to win on the third tiebreaker. It's, uh... <laughs> so congrats to Rabbit. We didn't have a lot of uh, draw. No, Only in a couple games really yeah. had good draw. A bit with the with the magpies and the wars had some had some pretty nice draw. Yeah, there's a little bit there, and then the the city quarter, but um, definitely. Some different games, different kingdoms. Yeah, I uh, I enjoyed the games, although although the the fifth one was a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> bit of a challenge just to stay awake. It's, uh, uh, it was something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, uh, thank you Mick for, for joining me and thanks everyone yep. for watching and we'll be back uh, next season and uh, Mick will probably be in the, co in the commentator seat at least he won't be in the... I won't be playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, there's <laughs> the, the, magic the, number three. The, the, there's <laughs> the third time, so that one's for you, <laughs> Steph. Okay, thanks for watching and see you later. Thanks.